Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pakdoda Trunks. It's been a month now since Microsoft officially released Windows 11 and they started notifying some eligible devices for the upgrade and one of our system unit has the eligibility for it. This is how it looks like when you are notified by the update. As you can see here on the right side of the taskbar, an update icon with a blue dot. Let's hover our cursor over here. It says, upgrade to Windows 11 is ready for your PC. And let's confirm it on Windows Update Settings. Windows 11 upgrade is free and we have an option if we're going to download and install or just stay on Windows 10 for now. There is a lot of way getting Windows 11. Just go to Microsoft website and you can get Windows 11 through this process. First, the Windows 11 installation assistant Second, the media creation tool. Last, you can directly download the ISO image here. We are not going through those process, but we are doing it on Windows settings like any other users will do because we are one click away from Windows 11. Before that, a quick spec of our system. This is an Asus ZenBook. UX325EA, an i5 11th gen processor, 4 cores, 8 threads, with a base clock of 2.4 GHz, has an 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of Intel NVMe SSD, with an integrated Intel XE graphics, and 13.3 inches OLED display. Okay, we're here on our Zenbook desktop. The first thing you would do is to back up all your data. If something might happen or something might not working, you have a workaround to go back on a working system. Create a system restore. Search create restore point. Click create. Let's name our restore point as Windows 10. Okay, it's finished. Let's check if our created restore point are there. Click on system restore. Okay, it's here. Let's close this one. These are considered as best practice for technicians. Once we are finished or we currently running on the latest update, we have an additional system file here called windows.old. This is not yet visible here. Let's just take note about this windows.old. I will be explaining it later in the video. Let's head over to the windows update settings. Click on download and install. Once the update process is going, these are the sequence that happening within the update. First, it will download the necessary files needed for the system. Second, it will install the files into the system. And the final step is applying the changes onto the system.
Okay, we're here on our final step in updating to Windows 11. Let's click on restart to apply the changes and wait because it takes for a several minutes. Alright, we're here on our Windows 11 environment. Did you know that once you successfully updated to the latest version of Windows, there is a system file that is very important called Windows.old? This is one of the system backup created by the system itself, derived from its word Windows Old. These files are composed of your old system and its settings. If the new system isn't working, you can try going back to the previous Windows version. Let's go to the settings. Under recovery settings, there is an option here called go back. Along with this process, you have a 10 days grace period to go back to a previous Windows version, you have days to try and test your new system if it is okay. Once the grace period is out, you no longer have the ability to revert the changes. The option will be grayed out and the windows.old file will be deleted by the system itself. So 10 days are too short, you won't be able to fully test it, however, I have a trick to extend its period and this is the first step you must do after successfully updated. All we need to do is to extend its period to 60 days. So search for PowerShell, run as administrator. The first code is to know the grace period of your system. You must type the exact script as shown here or you can copy it in the description below. Type dsim space slash online space slash get minus os uninstall window and confirm that we only have 10 days. The next code is the actual process and change to 60 days. dsim space online space set minus os uninstall window space slash value colon 60 wait for the operation to complete then check again if we already changed it to 60 days okay we have successfully changed it to 60 days let's type exit here to close our windows powershell now we have plenty of time to test our Windows 11. The final steps are to update our Windows 11 to the latest. Before that, let's check our system restore point. Unfortunately, our system restore for Windows 10 will not work. System Restore is grayed out because Windows 10 Restore is bound on the windows.old file. Okay, let's start updating our Windows 11 to the latest. While it's downloading, we quickly create a restore point here. This time, a restore point for Windows 11. Again, if anything happens after the update, we have a workaround. Another learning point from here, when you are checking updates, Microsoft presents 3 sets of updates per day and you won't be given any updates. This is to lessen the traffic on Microsoft archives. This is the first restart for the update.
the second restart And the final restart. Here you can no longer avail an update, maybe you can have an update by tomorrow. Alright, ayan, the whole upgrade experience are simple, exactly the same as Windows 10 major updates. In line with this experience, it is very time consuming because we have an average internet connection. Since Microsoft started the rollouts, some of you might try the upgrade and if something amiss in your system, we have the experience and the solution to fix those issues. Furthermore, there is a question yet to be answered. Do you recommend Windows 11? If your current Windows 10 system still performs well, you don't need to ship immediately to Windows 11. But if you are a person really loves the new added features in Windows 11, why not go get that update rolling? But remember, all the promised features in this newer operating system are yet to come. And if you are looking for a cheap, legitimate Windows 10 license key and Microsoft Office license key, I have the affiliate down below and I have added a promo code please check it guys and if you really want to watch some Microsoft video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video and I will see you in my next video bye